Hey, good afternoon and welcome back. I made a quick 10-minute uh, video again on, uh, on the cargo trader in progress. I'm, I've uh, gotten through the electrical system, so this will be the 10th episode. Uh, there's two parts to it. There'll be the part where we look at the DC system. That's the 12-volt DC and the charging system associated with that. Then there's a 110-volt uh, AC uh, wiring that goes along with the generator input and the uh, shore power input. But anyway, feel free to pause the video anywhere you like along the way and get a closer look at things. And uh, also, feel free to go back and look at the previous nine videos. Uh, so I'm going to take you outside here and show you what I've done. Okay. All right, I'll come back when I uh, get the batteries in and show you what the batteries is. But uh, to get a good shot of this, I had to do this with the batteries out. I kind of want to show you where I'm at. Um, so what I've done here is the uh, the black is obviously the ground bus bar, and you'll see I've taken uh, basically half inch uh, copper pipe like this, and uh, I cut it and flatten it out, and uh, I double them up and uh, make bus bars out of them. It's really hard to make the double out or the, uh, the zero gauge cable, you know, that short with ends on them and then bend them and stuff. It just doesn't work real well. So I found that just taking the um, half gate or the uh, half inch uh, copper pipe and flattening it out. So what I've done is you can see on the negative bus bar I, I ground off down to the metal here. I've got a thing going through, a uh, bolt going through, and I've got those uh, teeth, tooth washers that kind of grind into this. So this is my main ground. So uh, you can see that that goes right to the negative bus bar, all my negatives. So my negative off my battery is going to come in on this uh, shunt. It'll go through. So all the current that comes, uh, you know, uh, from, the, from ground will flow through this shunt into the battery and that will monitor the overall current. This wire goes up to the meter that, that's up front. I'll show you later when we're all completed. Um, I've got a wire coming off here. This is going, this is a, a 80 amp breaker going up to my uh, DC distribution, which I'll show you in a moment. And then here's my positive bus bar. Uh, this turn off switch here, I got to hook the battery up. The wire will come out, a, a zero gauge wire, come over and go to the battery. They'll be sitting here in a moment. Master off, goes right through. I use the same copper, a double bus bar down here. This is a 250 amp breaker. The BMS protects the batteries at 150 amp each or 300 total. So it's protected, uh, but this is just in case something shorts out on this bus bar or something strange goes on like that. It protects all this stuff in here. Uh, it does go through there and then directly to the battery. And this right here is a 150 amp breaker. This uh, going right off the positive bus bar and this goes up with two four gauge cables. Uh, I just ran out of red, so that's why it's black, but that's the positive going up and this is the negative going up to the inverter. So I doubled up four gauge wires for that. The double lot was probably a bit overkill and a little stiff anyway. And I had some of the four gauge cable, but you can see in here this is the mass. This is the DC bus bars uh, for the negative and the positive. Uh, and uh, up here, we'll, we'll pan up here real quick. This is the uh, solar controller. Uh, it comes through. It's got a 40 amp, uh, and that'll connect up. I've got a remote uh, monitor on this that'll go inside the cabin. We'll see later. Uh, this is the DC distribution that the 80 amp breaker comes up to. All right. So anyway, I'll put the batteries in and, and come back, uh, but I wanted to show you how the bus bars are set up in here. That's how I did it. All right. So yeah, I got all the battery back in now and everything, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a show of everything uh, I got in here. So I'll start at the top up here. This is the AC. If you look up top there, the blue, the blue thing is a, a transfer switch uh, that I got wired up. It transfers between the shore and generator and, uh, and the uh, inverter. Uh, the right top up there is the back side of the uh, meters. I'll show you all the meters on the other side when I go around. I gotta tidy up the wires a little bit, but this is essentially done up here. Uh, this is the uh, 20 amp main breaker there with two breakers, one for the uh, air conditioner by itself and then one for the rest of the trailer itself. Uh, so that's the AC section up there. I do have a lot of storage left up here. I'll be using uh, as time goes on. Uh, you've seen the air conditioner. This is a DC distribution. Uh, this here, uh, I still got to put all the breakers in here as I wire up the switches in there. I'm going to build the cabinets to put the switches in. So, But the wires are all in, uh, and you can see that. And so uh, I go down to the next level here. This is, on the left, is the uh, 30 amp solar controller. Uh, and it also has a remote indicator on the other side I'll show you, because obviously you can't see it when it's laying flat in here. Uh, and then on the right side here is the, uh, the converter. This charges the lithium batteries as well when you're plugged into shore power or running the generator. So they're both on that shelf there. Next shelf down is the uh, 1500 watt inverter. As I said before, I, I uh, modified this thing, put a wire in so I have a switch inside. Uh, so I don't have to come back here to turn it on. So I'll put a remote switch in there. 
Uh, I have this set here right now. I got to hook it up. This is a 20 amp DC to DC charger that will hook up to the uh, 7 pin connector on my toe jack and charge from my alternator. Uh, so I'm driving. So here's a uh, here's the big part down here. As you know, I got 510 amp hours, two batteries in here, uh, 280 and a 230 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, I've got these connected up with uh, zero gauge cables, uh, and you'll see a strap over the top to hold these down, so they're in here pretty tight. Uh, I've kind of described all the stuff down here previously, but you can see the uh, DC, the black uh, ground uh, bus bar, and the red is the uh, positive bus bar, so that's where I got all the connections made. To the left here again is the, uh, this is the shunt. All the current goes through that, and it goes up to that monitor I'll show you up front. Got the main turn off switch down there. In any case, uh, yeah, so this is all pretty much done. All the wiring's in. And uh, obviously I gotta wire up some switches inside. I'm gonna take you around up top here real quick. It was all part of this. Uh, you see up top here, uh, sun probably in your eyes a little bit. But I've got the cell phone uh, booster and the uh, FM antenna there. Uh, and they'll come back down uh, in here. And I'll, I'll walk you around here and show you up in here. You see the solar comes in there and on the right the two antennas coming in. So all that's in there. So uh, yeah, you'll see the back side of the radio and the speakers and stuff down there. Then I'll walk you around front here. So this is the electrical cabinet. It's pretty much done. Obviously, I've got to put trim on it. Uh, and I've got to, uh, got to trim it, you know, and paint it all up. But this is a look. You see the vents down there that allows the inverter converters and all that to get cabin air. It's all isolated when the door shuts, so it's not getting from outside. It'll be getting it from inside. This is the drawer here. Uh, I've got a cabinet door I built for that. I'm gonna, that's going to be like a fold-out desk there, actually, for my laptop. To the right, 12 volts uh, charging there, and uh, it's got a 12 volt jack. You got the AC, so you can see the stereo, AM, FM. I've got a little uh, auxiliary USB and auxiliary audio input uh, plate that's going to go right there. It's in the mail to me. Okay, up top here, this this is blinking because it's charging. Since it's a, about charged, I got the converter turned on. Still charging about 24 amps, as you can see there. Right below that is the AC meter. Now, whether I'm in the uh, running off the inverter or plugged in, this tells me the voltage and how much power I'm using in amps. Real nice, keep a monitor. This here's my water pump on and off. That, that's where that's going to go. And this is my inverter on and off. I do have a little indicator light to indicate when that's on. That'll go there. Top left here is a solar controller. This MT50 connects up to the uh, F Ever 30 amp uh, solar control that's down below. And uh, that's the uh, converter switch. This mode here is, uh, I'm gonna, probably going to label this, but obviously two is uh, the uh, plug, in, plug in short power or, in, or, or uh, generator, and the middle is disconnected, and then the left is the inverter. But yeah, this is the electrical cabinet. So this is how it turned out. I started to obviously wire in some uh, some of the uh, recessed lighting. You can see that it's all connected up. It's there, and uh, I've got the uh, lights on up underneath the uh, there. So I, I still got to wire up all the switches that go along with all this. Uh, you know, I, right now I just literally got a wire nut on there so I can have the lights on. Uh, but yeah, when I build the uh, the cabinets up along the top here, there will be switches in there for all the other lights. So, probably going to end this video here. Just wanted to give you a, a look at where I'm at. So I got the AC and DC wired. The only thing that remains to be wired really are just when I put in, uh, I got some switches to wire when I actually build the shelves and things, and I put the wall in. Next up is the shower. Uh, I'll be building the shower and doing some of the plumbing. Uh, you've already seen the kitchen. Uh, i got stuff setting all over the place. But yeah, I'll be building up the shower and hooking up the plumbing and all that associated with that. So I want to encourage you to uh, like and subscribe and get notification. The next video you'll see. Uh, then, you know, then it's pretty much just wrapping this thing up. This this was a lot of work over here, believe it or not. A lot of cutting, a lot of planning uh, and stuff like that. And uh, But it's all done. Obviously, you got to do the trim and paint it up and put the door on it. But uh, it's uh, electrically done. Thank you again for watching.